Kia ora koutou. welcome to another Waiheke Media Teacher tutorial. This time I want to cover a real basic and fundamental aspect of Google Classroom, which is creating an assignment. But in particular, I want to focus on how to create an assignment uh, and attach a sort of a scaffolded document for students to work on. This is something that I see either teachers doing very poorly or really not knowing how to do at all. And it's actually one of the most useful and fundamental uh, aspects of, of using Google Classroom uh, that I find. So I want to pass this on to you. Um, we're going to look at how to just create the scaffold in Google Drive, how to create the assignment, how to make a copy for each student, and then how to review the work that students have turned in. Okay, so I'm going to start off in uh, Google Drive, and I'm going to uh, demonstrate how to do this using uh, something that I just created for a, an English class of mine that's just uh, finished reading Hamlet. So uh, I'm here in my Google Drive, and I've created a uh, just a, a Google Doc um, in in Google Drive that uh, solicits a few of their their initial reactions upon finishing the reading the story in class for the first time. And so I've got a couple of, I've created this document, I've put an image in here, and uh, it's got a couple of questions down here, like how did you how'd you feel after you read the story? What was your favorite part of the, of the play? And uh, some questions around characters, just a real kind of a, you know, I want to get them thinking about how they're reacted to the play. Um, but this could be anything. It could be a, a scaffold for writing an essay. It could be a planning document. It, it could be anything. So first of all, I create that uh, document in my Google Drive. Now I'm going to switch over to the Google Classroom uh, that I want to assign this uh, this piece of work to. So I'm in uh, my Google Classroom. As you can see here, it's for a level three English class. And I'm going to go to this classwork tab up the top in order to um, create this assignment. So I go to my classwork tab and I hit the create button and I want to um, make an assignment. That's what I, that's out of all the things I want to do, that's the, this is the one that I tend to use actually the most. Uh, so I'm going to create an assignment. I'm going to give it a title. First reactions to leading, reading Hamlet. Um, and then I want to give a little few instructions here. And for this one, I'm actually not going to assign it any points, and I won't give it a due date, but you can. Um, and I will give it a topic so that it kind of gets organized within my Google Classroom nicely. I'm going to give it a uh, topic of Hamlet. So now the next thing I need to do is to come down to this. So I want to add the document to my assignment. So if I click on this Google Drive icon here, I should get a modal window that uh, will allow me to insert files using Google Drive. And actually, I find that if I'm if I've just created the document and um, and then I'm going to make the assignment, this tab, the recent tab is the most handy because you can see actually here's the document uh, right at the top. Although you can use this along the top to search for other uh, documents in your Google Drive. So right now I'm going to pick this one here upon finishing Hamlet for the first time and I'm going to add it and I can see down uh, down here, I'll get my little pen going, down here uh, the document has appeared, but what I really want to get you to pay attention to is this little drop down menu right here. This is the one that we want to uh, want to zoom in on. So if I pull this little menu down, I get three options. Students can view the file, students can edit the file and make a copy for each student. And this is really the one that uh, is the powerful, or I think is quite a powerful tool in Google Classroom to make a copy for each student. So what this will do, it will take my document um, and it will actually create a, an individual and editable copy for all of those students and put it in their Google Drive. Uh, for them to edit. It will also, once I click assign, it will send out a message, an email to them uh, with a link to this to this assignment and it will also post this assignment on the front page. So I'm just going to go ahead and go make a copy for each student. Um, at this point now, I would either assign this um, uh, assignment straight away or just as a, as a note you have a couple of options if you're not quite finished you can save it as a draft you may want to um, come back to it at a later point 
or you can schedule this um, assignment to appear in the future. Um, I often find that I schedule things, particularly if I don't want students to sort of see them or start them before the class time. So if I know my schedule, my class is going to start at 2.10 in the afternoon, I can schedule this uh, um, assignment to appear on their Google Classroom or, or be emailed out to them at a particular time. So that's particularly handy. Um, I've already kind of created this um, assignment, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to close this one. And I'm going to show you a little bit what it looks like um, in a kind of a live situation. So here's the assignment um, that I just created. Um, I posted this uh, a day ago. And what I want you to focus in on, you have this little thing here which tells you turned in and assigned. So this is how many people received it, 22 people received it. And currently one person has actually done the assignment. So if I click the view assignment, now I'm on the part of Google Classroom that's only accessible to you as a teacher. And this is where you can um, see and have a look at, at students' work. Now, if I come down here, I can see that only one person currently has actually finished this and turned it in. The rest of them are probably working on it or have not actually seen it yet because I kind of snuck this one in on the weekend. But if I go to, um, to one of my students here, I should now get a view of the uh, assignment. And I can do a couple of things from this page that are that are handy. If I wish, I can um, I can select a paragraph or, or a section, and I can add a comment, um, just like you can with a normal Google Doc. Uh, you can leave a comment here, um, or I can also um, I can leave a sort of a generic comment for the entire piece of work. Uh, in this private comment section. For those of you who use this quite a lot, you might have noticed a fairly new feature here, which is the comment bank. Um, I've actually started adding a few comments. I'm not gonna to talk too much about that there, but you can start collecting um, comments that you might use again and again and, and put them in your comment bank for, for adding into this section. Um, but that's pretty much it for uh, what I wanted to show you. Um, if I... Um, um, come back here. I can move through various students. I can give students this, um, assign students marks as well. But um, pretty much, it's just what it does for you that that is so powerful is it collects all of this work into one place. Um, and so that is, um, I find sometimes if I create an ass an assignment where um, I find sometimes if I create an assignment where I'm just asking students to attach their own documents. Uh, you know, I, I don't know when that's going to happen. It might ha happen early. It might happen late. It might not happen at all. I might get students emailing me. I might get students sharing documents with me. It's just a whole range of ways of, th of work coming in and that I've got to manage. But if I create this sort of simple scaffold, even my scaffold might actually just be the title, um, then I know all my work all the work from the students is going to be in one place and it just makes it a lot easier for me to go in and give feedback. So I encourage you to explore that, um, that, that functionality in Google Classroom. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And if you like this tutorial, please make sure you subscribe and hit that notification button on YouTube. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time. Kia kaha.